Well, emotions run high when a convicted killer is taken before a judge. In the Douglas County Courthouse, that often means walking through a very angry crowd. In a WOWT 6 News exclusive, we see how sheriff's deputies keep the peace. For several months, a sergeant in the thick of things wore a body camera. WWT 6 News, Mike McKnight investigating protecting justice from a unique point of view. The sounds of iron bars and steel cuffs echo through the district court holding cell. A calm, secure atmosphere on the floor off limits to the public as deputies prepare to escort a killer to court. All right, go and bring him up. We're good. But in the hallways of the historic Douglas County Courthouse, Sergeant Christopher Peterson wears our body cam to show deputies ready for a long, tense escort through a crowd. Yeah, just depending on what the case was and who's involved in the case, you can kind of tell what's going to happen. Oh, boy. Go, time to leave the courthouse. And with that human factor, there's always a chance that something's going to go wrong. Yeah, come on. Stop. Walk away, otherwise you're going to be coming with us. There's less tension out of public view in the holding area where rules are tight, like prisoners required to face the elevator wall on the way to court. A lot of the things they say, a lot of the things they do, they're trying to get a rise out of us. But when you keep your cool and act like it, it doesn't bother you. It, it really doesn't give them a whole lot to work with. While the body camera shows most prisoners in jail jumpsuits, a few wear suits. That's during trial when cuffs might imply guilt, so deputies use hidden protection. Now that I have the stun cuff on my ankle, if I'm sitting in court and act up, a deputy can push one of these buttons and send a shock of up to 80,000 volts. But even that painful threat didn't prevent one murder defendant from attacking a deputy in the courtroom. He uh, had two swings, both hit me, one here and then one up on the other side of my head. Um, and then, as I said, I just restrained him from there. Deputies say it's usually not adult prisoners, but juveniles taken from this holding cell to juvenile court where they see surprising outbursts. But I did witness a young lady spit on her mother, which was, wow, it was, it was kind of weird for me to see that. Deputies see emotion played out in hallways <laughs> and stairwells. She needs to sit down for a minute. Their job is to respectfully control it. Folks, we need to clear this hallway. If you could start making your way towards the exits, please. But away from the public in a secure area where a prisoner is uncuffed, there's only the sound of a cell key and voice of a deputy. There you go. Good luck to you, Omar. At the Douglas County Courthouse, Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. A deputies must serve two years on road patrol before drawing a courthouse assignment. And last year, those on court duty escorted prisoners to and from the court more than 4,500 times with few incidents. And